What's going on everyone, Sean Doyle here and in this video I want to show you how to check for trademarks and a couple other things to look out for when picking your keywords. So I forgot to cover this in the keyword research video in my step-by-step -step free self-publishing course. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, make sure to check it out in the, in the description. I'll leave a link there. Um, but I will probably include this video in that course uh, right after the keyword research lesson. Uh, because what you want to do is when you're searching for keywords, you know, profitable keywords, you also want to make sure that it's not trademarked because once you start publishing trademark, you're risking getting sued and you definitely don't want to do it. So I'll show you how to, how to, um, check that very easy way of doing it. So let's get right into the video. All right. So I got two examples for you guys. Uh, one is South beach diet. This is a full-on trademark keyword. It is a diet. Um, basically, South Beach Diet is a diet developed by author Agustin. Okay, so it's literally you know made by this guy. It's not like a generic concept of diet, but like ketogenic diet or paleo diet. It's made by this guy, trademarked and everything. So there are some people <clears throat> that are publishing. In this uh, in this keyword, as you can see, like this guy, this guy, these are all self-published books, right? That's kind of sketchy, you know. I, I definitely would be scared if I was publishing in this keyword. And I'll check you. Uh, I'll show you how to check for trademarks. Basically, what you want to do is go to. Um, I've already checked actually, as you can see. But you want to go to USPTO.gov. So let me go back to the home page here. So go to USPTO.gov. Um, I'll leave the link in the description too. Then you go to trademarks, searching trademarks, <clears throat> and go to trademark electronic search system, basic word mark search. And once you get to the screen, before uh, I go further, I just want to leave a disclaimer that I'm not a lawyer. I'm not like a professional. This is how I check. I think I'm doing it correctly, but I'm just literally, I think, okay? So I'm not 100% sure. You have to do your due diligence when you're checking the keyword. Um, and this is how I do it, but I can't like confirm it's 100% like fail proof way of checking for the trademark. So when you're like in doubt, you know, when it's, when, if, if it's iffy, right, if the keyword is a trademark or not, just, just don't go into it. You know, there's a bunch of different keywords that is not trademarked and, you know, still profitable. You don't have to risk your account like that. So, um, if you have to choose, always pick the safe side. But anyways, let me show you what I do. So you type in the keyword here and you get all these results, right? First of all, the best case scenario, the best case scenario is you get nothing. Like, um, Sean Dolet. Because my name is not trademarked. So this is the best case scenario. No records were found. However, the you know, if you do have um, keywords showing up or results showing up, you want to check if it's live or dead. Dead means the trademark uh, used to be there, but it's not active anymore. Live means it is still active. So then what you want to do is find uh, the one that is matching. Um, sometimes you get keywords that is like completely irrelevant. Like say you put in South Beach diet and you get like paleo diet, for example, you can ignore those. But if it's like, you know, your keyword plus some extra description, like South Beach diet complete, South Beach diet gluten solution, you want to check those too. But mainly you want to check the exact word matches. So South Beach diets that is live. Okay. So you start opening these. And what I do is I check for right here, goods and service. Well, I pretty much check all of them, but you know, I try to find out what the trademark is for because just because it's trademarked doesn't mean it's trademarked for every single product in the world. Sometimes the, the trademark is just for using the term South Beach diet for, in this case, food supplements, vitamins, mineral supplements, right? All kinds of supplements, but it doesn't specify books, you know? So if this is the only trademark um, and they're only specifying to this sub like services, then you could potentially publish in books and it could be okay. But I still wouldn't recommend it. The reason why is because 
these guys who trademarked this term, you know, SBD Enterprises is basically South Beach Diet. So who created, you know, the the diet? They can always go back and trademark uh, additional products. So they can come come in later and just, you know, trademark books wh who's using the term South Beach Diet, right? So it could be a problem later, even if it's not right now. So you always want to kind of avoid that. Um, standard character mark, I'm assuming it's just, you know, the word South Beach Diet. And uh, you can see if it's live or dead, trademark. Um, and then the disclaimer is also important because this is basically saying, you know, they're not making claim to the word diet. They're only making the claim to the combination of words, South Beach diet. Anyways, let me show you the case. So you keep checking, right? All the live ones. I mean, if you, if you get this kind of results on USPTO, you should automatically not go into this keyword unless you're like super advanced in, you know, in publishing then you can kind of see if there's any space for you to go in if that's what you want to. Um, but I think it was this one, or this one. So no, this is food delivery service. Um, and this is for websites. I found the one, um, the specified books, you know, or anything related to publishing. So yeah, this one, South Beach Diet, so it applies to online catalog order services via the internet or featuring books, cookbooks, foods. So yeah, so you can publish books on this keyword. As far as that's how um, I interpret interpret this, you know, that's how I understand this. I might be wrong, but uh, this is how I do it. So yeah, South Beach Diet is trademarked. That's how you check. And uh, uh, I'll show you another example here, which is a little different. So this term is not trademark, but you still don't want to use it. And I'll explain why. Okay. So we got emotional intelligence 2.0. And what I mean by you don't want to use it uh, is the phrase emotional intelligence 2.0 and not the term emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is just a generic keyword. A lot of people are publishing in it. You know, some people are making money in it. You definitely can do it. Uh, that's fine because it's just a generic phrase, but if you put 2.0, it becomes this guy's title, right? And <clears throat> and uh, this is a very famous, you know, book, a very famous author. They have a lot of devoted fans, you know, that really loves this guy. And you, if you full on rip off his title, although it's generic, right? Emotional Intelligence 2.0, you can't trademark, I don't think you can trademark a uh, very generic phrase like that. Even if you go and check, there's nothing, right? There's another book that is a, a great example, which is, let me open it up right here, which is a great example of like a generic title, unlimited memory, you know? So people would publish in keywords like this, unlimited memory with the exact same title, uh, because it's generic, you, it's not trademarked, you know, and you think you can. And uh, but let me show you what I mean by why you don't want to go into this. So there's three books. First of all, I think it's extremely scammy to call yourself PhD, you know, giving you a fake title. You never, I, I don't think you should claim to be a doctor uh, or anything like that. But another thing is, is um right here so this guy david j goldman right it's, it's freaking it's so scammy when people do this brandon goldman the reason why is because emotional intelligence was kind of coined by this guy daniel goldman so everybody's trying to come up with a pen name that is um that is similar to confuse people <laughs> to confuse the buyers like the whole strategy is to confuse the customer into thinking you're this guy and getting your book uh, to be to be bought. That is like so scammy. It's crazy. Dale Goldman, Brandon Goldman. That uh, that's so bad. And the reason why it's bad is because you know. So there's you know it's basically the same reason, right? Same reason as you know straight up copying the title of a famous book or you know, getting a similar author name. Because if you go down, I think it was this book that had the review. 
Um, this one. This is exactly why you don't want to do it because I meant to get a copy of this book or the book by Travis Bradbury uh, with the same title, okay? And I realized that I made an error because it was the wrong book. So now you get one starred. Again, this is a predatory imitation of a real book by Travis Bradbury and Gene Greaves. So this is exactly why you don't want to do it because even though the keyword is not trademarked, right? It's a generic phrase, yes, but you know it's distinguishing itself uh, very specifically to this book, right? Emotional Intelligence 2.0. And then if you copy it, that's exactly what you're going to get is you know people complaining that you're just stealing or piggybacking off this title. So what you want to do if you want to go into Emotional Intelligence, because you can publish in this because it's not trademarked, what you want to do is, you know, change it up. You don't want to do Emotional Intelligence 2.0. It's kind of a hard example to give uh, with this uh, title, but say if you wanted to publish in Unlimited Memory, instead of just putting Unlimited Memory in the title, um, you can put like how to get unlimited memory so that it's you know kind of different, right? Because using the term unlimited memory itself is should be okay because it's not trademarked, you know? Um, you still want to try and avoid it if possible uh, just because it is so coined, like it is coined by this guy. So, you know, his his raving fan would not like it if you have it in the title. Um, but technically it should be okay. But uh, again, just a disclaimer, I'm not a, I'm not a professional lawyer or anything like that, so, you know, go with the discretion. But that's what I wanted to cover here. Check uh, how to check trademarks here. Make sure, you know, your keyword is not trademarked. And uh, even if it's not trademarked, in some situations, it's best not to go into it or at least come up with a variation of the keyword you're trying to do in this two examples. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments uh, or in the Facebook group. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next one.